Hello my fellow hollowed hunters, this is the Souls Fanatic, and today I will be making the sedative from Bloodborne. So here is a list of items where I got them and how much they cost. Feel free to substitute things if you wish, and look around the house to see if you already own some of these. So to start you're going to need a glass bottle and a good label design. You're going to have to print that design onto a sheet of white sticker paper and cut it out. Next take the water, pour it onto a plate, and then take the coffee mix and pour that into the water. The more coffee mix you add, the darker the stain. Make sure your label is the right size and then dip it in the coffee stain. Once it's dry, we're going to stick it on the bottle. Next we're going to work on the bandage wrap. You're going to want to lay it out on an expendable surface so we can spray paint. Now I'm going to use the black spray paint and just dust it to get a gray finish. Now your tape may have this clean finish like mine, I don't want that, so I'm going to take a pair of scissors and cut away these little spikes. And then pull at the tape to get it to fray like an old cloth. This is what it should look like when you're finished. Now you're going to wrap it around the bottle, but be careful since it is tape, if it sticks to the paper, it may rip the paper trying to pull it off. Eventually this is what I ended up with. Once you're finished wrapping, you may want to curl the edges to get the wrap to stand out a bit more.
Now that the bottle is done, we're going to move to the kitchen so we can melt the caramel. I recommend only melting five at a time because caramel expands when it is heated and it may overflow. Heat the caramel in intervals of 10 to 15 seconds. Once it is melted, begin spooning it into the jar. Warning! The stove is hot, and I am not responsible for any injuries you may cause to yourself and or to others, so please take the proper precautions. Use an anti-stick spray on the pan. Make sure it coats the entire pan, but be sure that there isn't too much or else your marshmallows may turn to snot. Dump some marshmallows into the pan and begin heating them by stirring. Once the pan and mellows are hot, add a tiny bit of water to get them to start melting. When they are a good consistency, add them to the bottle. You're going to have to keep doing layers of caramel and marshmallow until they fill about halfway. Mix the two to get that marble finish, and when everything looks good, put it in the freezer to harden. Now caramel and mellows are a pain to scrub off. Put your tools in a bath of hot water to dissolve the sugar, making it much easier to clean. Once the caramel has hardened, you're going to have to clean the mouth of the bottle to fit the cork. You want to use a wet hot towel and try scrubbing the outer and inner rim. Now that that's finished, we can go back to the work desk and finish the cork. Now we're going to want to make it look older, so I'm going to use the black spray paint. And just like the cloth wrap, we're going to lightly dust it. Then I'm going to use an X-Acto knife and cut away at the top edges of the cork. And then I'm going to use the sandpaper to make it look a bit smoother.
When the cork fits nicely, we're going to need some twine to tie it down. Now this is my own method, not sure if there's an actual way to tie down a cork. But first you're going to wrap the twine around the lip of the bottle, then cross them. Take both ends and fold them over the cork. Now here is a tricky part. You're going to pull the twine wrapped around the lip and push both ends through the gap. That's one. And that's two. Make sure it's nice and tight. And we're going to cross knot the ends on this side and pull. Now we're just going to cut off the extra twine and our sedative is finished. Thanks for watching, like, comment, and subscribe for more content in the future.